I am a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. My forest is the Rainbow Forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. When I enter this forest or any other collection of trees, I never know what I'm going to write about. These are my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest. Chapter number 379, July 30th, 2023. I was kind of nervous this morning inside this forest because at the same time I was taking notes, a little box turtle and a bright red cardinal met me in the same place. We were maybe seven feet apart. We were all together in one place and none of us showed any type of fear to run away. I did get nervous. I've not been feeling well. It was a moment of, whoa, are you angels dressed up to resemble what my heart can see and easily recognize? I mean, this is completely weird, right? Not in that moment. There are many times that I forget that this forest and I have been together and had this amazing relationship for 32 years. Learning to love all living things has meant being in peace during every transition we take every day. These birds and turtles, well, we see each other all the time and we tend to think that, well, we we're just here. We're just visiting and they don't want to run away, nor do I. Today, all three of us in the same place, the same time. It was just our way of saying, good morning. And yes, I still believe they were angels. We all have those areas that we travel to because we know that there's something very spiritual there. And even if you're not a spiritual person, there's still that area in your life, that one little zone where you go to feel something. Not numbness, maybe not just being welcomed, but a sense of warmth that says, I am me. I get to be me. There will be no judging me locating those places and documenting them and creating what I call a breadcrumb trail. So you can return to those areas when you do have those moments where you're questioning your health or something is challenging you at your place of business. Those areas that you can run to. Now, there was once a time back in the mid 1980s, about 1988, that I was in such a horrible place. And the only zone that I could find where I knew there would be peace was right there on the corner of Trade and Tryon in uptown, downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. Because I love this city so much, and because that skyline has given me so much energy, I went to that area, the corner of Trade and Tryon, and I stood in my zone. All that was inside of me in that moment of now, all the pain was gone. It really does help. It wasn't until 1992 that I was introduced to the beauty of this forest. But it didn't look like what it does now. In 1992, it looked like it bathed in acid rain. And that's when it became my goal and my opportunity to do something, to create change, to enhance something that would build a beautiful future. So the real true story here is, where is your place of not only safety, but healing? Recognize it. Make it known. Let other people know that, hey, I'm going to my zone. I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest.